Every year since 2009, one lucky golfer is selected as the recipient of the Charlie Sifford Memorial Exemption. Now, this is given to a golfer representing a minority background to play in the PGA Tour's Genesis Invitational teeing off today. And this year's recipient comes right out of Sacramento. This is a moment that I've been dreaming about since I was a kid. Aaron Beverly is still pinching himself after finding out he was selected for this distinct honor. And to make the moment more surreal, it was announced by one of his idols. So in terms of Tiger, it's really incredible. Like the first tournament I ever watched as a kid was the 97 Masters when he won. And the last tournament I ever got to watch with my dad was the 2019 Masters that Tiger won. So it came full circle with obviously Tiger kind of announcing me on Twitter that I got the exemption. After meeting with me at Valley High Country Club in Elk Grove, Beverly found himself sitting next to Tiger Woods at a joint press conference the day before teeing off at Riviera. I would encourage Aaron and others um, to just enjoy that practice of, of going out there and finding, as I would keep saying, dig it out of the dirt and going out there and earning it on your own. No one's going to give it to you. The Genesis Invitational is played annually at the Riviera Country Club outside Los Angeles, and past recipients of this exemption include fellow Sacramentan Cameron Champ, who received the honor back in 2018. The award is named after Charlie Sifford, who was the first African American to play on the PGA Tour. PGA used to have a, a Caucasian only clause in it, so. Until him and until that clause got changed, no one that was of any ethnic background was able to play. Long before Aaron was sitting next to Tiger Woods, the Fairfield native was imprinting his name in the record books for the Sac State golf team. He was a two-time Big Sky Player of the Year before graduating in 2017. Beverly, who resides in Sacramento and serves as an assistant coach for the Hornets golf team, hopes receiving this honor will not only lead to his own opportunity to earn a spot on the PGA Tour, but also help open the door for more black representation in professional golf. In terms of uh, blacks playing in, in PGA Tour events, you know, we have Joseph Bramlett, we have Cameron Champ, Harold Varner, we have, you know, a few guys out there playing. Uh, but three or four or five is just not enough, right? We need, you know, 20, 25, just so that kids can see role models that don't have to necessarily be Tiger, who's the greatest of all time, but just guys that are really good and great golfers. 